Uh, Lin Lee came on yesterday in the libero position for Wang Wenji. She's going to start this match today. So China versus Netherlands. Ding with the first serve for China. Put up nicely by the Dutch team. And from the back, racing forward. The wing spiker Lu puts the first point on the board for the Chinese team. The different colored tops. Yeah, the Liberos. The yeah, Liberos came in in 2000. Uh, the FIVB produced a rule change to allow the defensive specialists into the game. It's a brilliant rule change. Uh, a definite role for players that may be just a little too short to compete at the net at this level, but can do a fantastic job as Knip demonstrated there. Beautiful shot. And a nice put away from Myers. I think she was good yesterday, the number 21 for the Netherlands. She needs to be brilliant today. Got a good point. One by the Dutch side. Can it making that one? Putting them in a position to pull it back to one point apiece. Well, it's the power that we know the Chinese team have. And we know that the opposite spiker Gong has as well. This is what the Netherlands have to face here today. Set up wonderfully well. Zhu Ting on the serve for China. Good offense, really nice quick set behind from Van Allen. And it's Myers again. She's the go-to player at the moment, the number 21 for the Dutch. Normally a wing spiker, so she normally plays left side, but she's going to play this game right side and already had an impact. So Netherlands still on the serve. Polder. Controlled and kept in by the Chinese. Oh, a wonderful pickup. Well, that's great stuff. If your middle player can get you a pickup, can get you a defensive play, that's a bonus. And Polder's just done that for the Netherlands. Great work. The taller players, slightly less mobile, the middle blockers, in terms of their backcourt work. But Polder's doing a great job there. So the Netherlands maintaining their serve. But the Chinese pull it back to three points apiece. Now back to the uh, libero after this point from China hits the floor. That means that Polder, just diving into the picture now, vacates the court because the middle blockers usually are replaced by the defensive specialist, the libero. And it's a free-ranging substitution, so it doesn't count on the score sheet. Liberos just come on and off court when the points allow. Oh, a wonderful block, but a wonderful keep in by the Dutch. That one's got snow on it. It's going to be set up. Oh, what a fake. Absolutely superb from the Chinese. Gong putting that one away, but this was a super fast attack. How about this, though, from Marit Jasper, the Dutch captain? She's gone and retrieved that on her own and then couldn't do anything about the subsequent shot. But every time China have control of the ball, Ding is going to run a very quick offence. Yang again with the serve. The libero keeps it in for the Netherlands. Oh, a nice little pick up. The set's going to come. Very, very impressive start from the team in red. Gong with another kill. Had a slightly quieter game yesterday, uh, Gong. Got into double figures, but wasn't as strong on the left side of court as uh, on the right side, sorry, as they would like her to be. But this is a fine start. Yang again. That's better. Crunching spike from Jasper gets it through the block this time. Decent player, Marit Jasper. Jasper plays for uh, Dresden in the German top league in the Bundesliga. But a lot of pressure on the 23-year-old here in Hong Kong to try and hold this Dutch team together. Myers with the miss, first mistake from her. And you don't want to be too disparaging about the Dutch side, but this is basically their second team. You can't get away from the fact that Robin de Groif, Nicole Kulas, Laura Dijkma, Celeste Plack, Lonica Slurches, Yvonne Bellion and Anne Bausch are all at home. They would normally be starting. And we think they're just resting up at the moment and waiting for their turn to come into the VNL. 
but it may be too late for the Dutch to qualify. But a great opportunity. New players in. Got another Olympic cycle to come after Tokyo. So great to see these players who will feature in that Olympic cycle. So the dark blue of the Netherlands on the serve. Just one point down now on the Chinese. They did pull a set back yesterday in that 3-1 loss against Italy. But they did too much of that serve errors. Every time they took a step forward against Italy, they missed from the service line, took a step back. Yep, error ridden yesterday as Lu gets the serve underway for China. Good work from the youngster, just 18 years of age. Demi Kurova from the Slee Direct Club just running around the back. So the slide D attack, which means it's a long, wide set to the wing. And the slide from the middle player around the back to jump off one leg to kill it. Kurova, superb play. Three service errors in a row. Now, you can have nerves, you can have tension, you can have all those things, but if you just keep doing that, China are going to walk through this. So, eight playing six, the first technical timeout of the first set. And as you say, Simon, three teenagers on court at the moment for the Netherlands. A little bit of nerves, potentially, but when you have the opportunity, when it's given, well, as Sandos Beltrami gives you it, you've got to grab it, you've got to take it, you've got to show that you're capable of delivering when it matters. As China do, and Zhu Ting on the left. Not really done much yet, give her time. Yeah, she'll be required to come in. There's the coach's clipboard with the various plays explained and written down. The disappointment for the Dutch when they miss a serve is that they've got one of the biggest blocking units in the world. They're the tallest players in the world in the front court in some areas. So if you miss your serve, you've not given your blockers a chance. And they need to be given chances here because they will block the Chinese attackers from time to time. So Gong leading the way early doors in form of the stats. Four points for China, four on the attack. Luke, one to her name at the moment in terms of points. And it's China on the serve then, leading 8-6 in this first set. Great block. Xu Ting. It's the other part of her game because she is tall. She's able to reach right over the net. And in that wing spiker position on the left side, I means she's directly up against the power spiker for the Dutch. And that great stop on Polder, who run around the back again for another slide D attack. Huan with the serve. Just a little bit too much on it. The libero for Netherlands kept it in. But it's spun off at pace to give China a four-point advantage. Oh, can it... She got a hand to it. The teammates just running out of space to even potentially try and return that one. So China on the serve with a four-point lead. The oohs and the ahs and the crowd in the Hong Kong Coliseum. Well, and the point goes the Netherlands way. And there you go, the value of keeping the ball in play and trying to get your blockers some chances. Now, good front line. Van Allen has come to the service line, so the three taller players now in front court for the Dutch. So the setter serves. Oh, oh, oh dear me. Super spike from shooting. Wow. She attempted 34 spikes. 19 attacking points yesterday. The speed that is generated by the Chinese superstar and the accuracy that goes along with it. A nice little tip from the Dutch. It's going to be set up once again. Back off Zhu Ting, who's going to reposition herself for the point. Well, completely out of system, China. They battled so hard to keep that ball in play and then just shoved it out to the wing. Some really good defensive work from the team in red. But this is a high ball, really tough to hit, so she goes as high and as hard at the hands as she can. And it's gone straight over the top of the block. Great kill from Zhu Ting. Ding again on the serve. Same play, and Myers gets that away. 
So virtually identical in terms of the ball that Myers had to hit to the ball we've just seen Zhu Ting put away. It's really good hitting. Started this game well, the Dutch player. Their serve. Goes a bit wayward, but kept back in court. Free ball for the Dutch, easy pass. Then full offence. Great kill. And that's a really good illustration of an attacking team in control of the ball having advantage in this sport. We normally think of sports with a ball where the server has the advantage, but it's the attacking team that has the advantage if they have control of the ball. The Netherlands at the moment in control of the ball, looking back to pull the three-point deficit back against the lead that China have. Lukovic, well, letting the Chinese now extend it out to four in this first set. Here she is. Great block. Good tall front line for China at the moment with uh, the setter Ding in the back line. And, uh, gone. With a really nice shutdown next to the other middle blocker, Yang Han Yu. New to the court. Zhu Ting again on the serve for China. Oof. Good, good trading from the Dutch. Nice kill from Jasper down the line. Trying to keep that scoreboard ticking over, trying to keep pace. Lovely look above at that distribution from Sarah Van Allen, the setter. Hold up. Ting keeps it in. Yeah. Terrific play. Other teams, middle blockers, will go off a very long approach and, and coming maybe off three strides. The Chinese players just run with the setter and then jump when they think the net's clear. They try and find these gaps between the block. Really well found by Ding. Hunting for space. I think that's the best way to describe it. That's what the Chinese middle players do. Good response. Dutch trying to keep pace. Another kill for Myers. Five points so far. The 21 numbered Netherlands start. And it's four the deficit now for the European side. Oh, wow. Zero tempo attack. That is phenomenal. So Yuan actually up and in the air as this ball was put into her hands. And that's as quick as it gets in this sport. 16-11, the second technical timeout. The speed that was on the ball, the control and the accuracy. As you say, Simon, they just hunt out the spaces. It's like they've got four pairs of eyes. They see absolutely everything. Yeah, great work. Great work, and it's not just the fact that that shot scored a point, it's the fact now that the Dutch middle blocker is going to have to keep thinking, where's the next attack coming from? Too much to think about. Well, Gong's been solid. Good game uh, yesterday, but didn't score as many as she would like. Here, she started really strongly, so has put the ball away when she's been asked to, and then the opposite spiker has also done a good job in block. And remember, they've got an excellent uh, couple of backup players as well. So, Jung... Chin Lei waiting in the wings in the number eight shirt if Gong can't quite perform. There's some real talent in that opposite position. But also not as much demand on the opposite player on that right side of court because they got Zhu Ting out on the left. So the workload is shared quite nicely amongst the Chinese players. So 16-11, the Chinese lead on their serve. Knip keeps it in. Sets it up. Great responses. Straight down. A three-woman block, and the reason for that, the hitter was isolated. China knew exactly where this ball was going, got all three, all three players to it, and a monster block to finish. Watch the hands on the press. Fantastic. That ball's going nowhere else except down. A monster block, a triple block, and another point for China. So the point one, so they stay on serve. Good swing. Marek Jasper's punching above her weight today. Dutch captain doing her job through that wing spiker position. 
So still the five point difference. Jasper on the serve for the blue of the Netherlands. Oh, lovely little tip. A lovely dig from Knip. Great stuff. And that is what this Dutch block can do. And that's why the Netherlands have to try and stay in the rallies, have to get the serves in court. Wonderful pickup from Knip. Classic pancake from the Dutch libero. Just sliding the hand along the floor. Flat as a pancake and letting the ball bounce off the back. Bit of pressure on China here. You. Dutch can score again. Too oh. good. <laughs> we'll block it once, we'll block it twice, and then we'll take the point. Magic from Yuan. Wonderful timing again. Watch the hands and the arms just over the net and directing the ball back in. And again, another another isolated set. So they, they knew roughly where that ball was going. So once a middle blocker sees the set going the direction they were expecting, then the footwork gets executed. Up they go, press over, and the ball's finished. So Beltrami calls a timeout for the Dutch side. Five points down. It's getting quite a familiar rotation for the Dutch team, which is one that therefore China can just seem to read with ease. Yeah, it takes you, uh, probably it takes you a rotation or two to get into it, players at this level. But once they understand who's running where, what the favoured sets are, and they've got a bit of backup from the coaches via statistics. Remember, they've got coaches watching all around this stadium, feeding into the coaches on the bench. Once you've got all that information, then it becomes easier to process the decisions. You know, when it's an early part of the game, you're not quite sure what's going on, you've got four attackers coming at you, that's a lot to process. But as the game goes on, it's easier to read because these players learn. Lou with the serve for China. With that five-point lead in this first set. Lukowicz gets it through the block. She's had a slow start, the number 17. That's the biggest scorer for the Netherlands at the moment. Looks to be getting herself into this one now. 14 aces in total so far in this VNL. So when she gets going, which the, the Dutch teammates will hope that she will do, she can cause some damage on the serving line. Oh, good block by the Netherlands. Kept in play, trying to get an opportunity to reset themselves. Brilliant, but it's uh, a backcourt fault. The attacker. Stepping on the three-metre line. So a backcourt attacker can go over that line, but not take off in front of it. That's it. You can jump from behind the line and land well in front, but as you saw, just a toe on that line from Liu. So the Dutch serve, three goals down in this first set. But once again, Zhu Ting, 198 centimetres tall, the captain Reminding everybody that once she's on court, too, she's ready to rock and roll as usual. So Wan then on the serve. First to 25, remember, to win a set. Yeah, ace. And uh, Marek Jasper agrees. Now, whether the Dutch will just burn a challenge here just to slow the game down. I don't know. I mean, that's a good opportunity to use a challenge and just have a chat to the players, but no. Beltrami's going to keep one up his sleeve. We'll tip over. Good shot from Gong. Oh, good shot by Gong. Simon followed. That ace, the first of the match, and another timeout is called. And China having that six-point advantage. And Alessandros Beltrami will be sharing some more insights. Marco Clock in there, you were saying. You remember him with the bold head? Yeah, Simon? absolutely. Great player, Marco yeah. Clock. Played in the 92 Olympics in Barcelona for the Netherlands. He could hit a ball. Part of the coaching setup. 
big coaching setups the nations have. Yes, no, absolutely. Uh, I think coaches realising that just one voice isn't good enough. You need you need several voices. You don't want to overload players with information, but do you know what? A setter wants to come off and talk to a setter, not a former middle blocker. And those those things matter. You know, you want to be talking to someone that's been there and done it at this level. And that's why having multiple coaches down there on the bench is a really good idea. Juan with the serve. China four points away from this first set victory. Well, this has been ruled against the Netherlands, has it? And uh, if it has, we're going to see a challenge because uh, Ludicrous absolutely convinced that clipped the fingers, and so is Beltrami. Hence the challenge. So they've gone to the tablet, pressed the button on the app that sounds the hooter, and away we go to the video. So did this touch the Chinese block? It did. And look how high Zhu Ting is. Head and shoulders over the net. That's phenomenal. But if you don't press, if you don't get your hands across and penetrate, you become a target rather than an obstacle. Good challenge from the Dutch. On their serve as well. Beautifully done. It was, but that's a little bit attacking by numbers there from Zhu Ting. So she just belted three in a row. Tip. Dutch maybe could have gambled on that. It's that mix-up, isn't it? One minute power, the next minute finesse. And Ding now controlling with the Chinese serve. Uh, Dutch do not want uh, Ludaquist trying to pass the ball there was very tight to the sideline and possibly going out. Changes, so Hester Jasper comes on to replace Ludaquist, as good as she is in the front line. The tall number 17 is not quite as adept at passing the ball off service as the substitute that has just come on is. So Ding with the serve. Again, absolutely deadly. An ace given on the previous serve, Simon, even though it touched the player on the way out, a slight yeah, ball absolutely. change. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, it can touch two players and it's still an ace. This was a cracker. Watch this ball dip. Gets to there and then drops like a stone. Going for a hat-trick then. Set point for China. Gets it. <laughs> oh, what a finish. And Ding Jia gets a hat-trick of ace serves to finish this one off and she's delighted with that. Doesn't get a chance to attack at the net because she's the setter. So this is her chance to hurt the opposition. And I think she enjoyed herself there. That's the biggest smile of Sim in the VNL for a few weeks. Asked to do a job and she did it wonderfully well. So China take the first set 25-16. Right on course for the easy ride they were hoping here against the Netherlands. They've only dropped two sets in total this whole VNL journey so far against Dominican Republic and Russia. So, so far, so good for the Chinese team. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from that first set. Well, a wonderful end to the first set for China. Three aces in a row. 
Let's have a look at the breakdown in terms of the spike contact points. Now, imagine you're a middle blocker facing that. Look how many options there are for China in terms of the distribution. That is complete overload, very, very tough to stop. And nicely distributed between the hitters, and that's what China do. They share the workload. So, good effort. And when the ball does come to them, great placement to keep killing the ball. And their coach, Lang Ping, was a player that knew how to kill the ball, hence her nickname, the Iron Hammer. What a great nickname to have. You wouldn't argue with her at a pub. You don't have to ask why she's given that nickname either. It's not one of those convoluted no, ones, is it? It's quite an obvious yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. If she hit it, it hurt. And such a a hero in this country she was they had a, a national holiday when she got married years ago but they got some stars out of court this chinese team and after their success in uh, rio su ting has become the new superstar and she is what a great player the only slight weak part of her game i would say is the joust when she goes up and jousts at the net against the opposition players, she doesn't often win the point. Let's see if the Dutch can make something of that in this set. Overturned it, so a little bit too much rotation from Zhu Ting. Says to the bench, no, that was out, didn't touch anything. Now the uh, announcer that's trying to get the crowd to shout for the team in blue, it's not shouting Poland, it's Holland shouting and that's very much part of uh, supporting in China the atmosphere facilitators as they're called on the sidelines trying to get the crowd to cheer for the Netherlands but hasn't got many takers at the moment they just want to see a big result for the team in red China serve. Lucetta Ding getting us underway. One point apiece in the second set. Knipped keeps it in. Again, that tempo through the middle. This time from Yang Han Yu. Just too good. 1 meter 92 tall from the Shandong province team. Contacts the ball at 317. So very difficult to stop. And that was. An attempt at a fourth ace in a row there from Ding. Didn't quite come off, but the point was good in it anyway. Oh, wonderful pickup by China. Good work. Netherlands running their own middle play as well. Not quite as emphatic. But there's no pictures on the score sheet. If you win the point, you win it. What a set, what a set. That was a beautiful pass in front of Ding, and she just holds, 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 and fakes to the middle, and then sets on the reverse. Wonderful bit of handling there from the Chinese setter, and super spike the result because it's a free net. So China still on the serve. Pick up Zhu Ting. Free ball though, chance for the Dutch to attack with force here, and they do. That's more like it through the middle from Polder. Well, he did take advantage of the free ball that was put back over by the Chinese. Utilised it to bring it back to three points apiece in the second set. Gong is just hammering today, playing really well, the number six for China. She's getting some dream sets as well, let's be absolutely honest. Ding just putting it on a plate. Pipe. China don't use that as much as some of the other teams. In fact, they don't use the backcourt offense a tremendous amount. 
When they do, it works. The kill from Zhu Ting. So China holding their serve with a two-point advantage. Myers back into it, gone a little bit quiet, the opposite spiker for the Dutch. We've got to bring her back into the game. Problem for Myers is that on a couple of rotations in the last set, she was up against Zhu Ting's block, and that's not easy. Oh, it's oh. made it over. Good work. Not a great set from Van Allen. But the captain, Malik Jasper, going for the power tip, realised that this was an option and used it well. Oh, oh what a shot. Great blocking. That was Kuravar, the youngster, right in the middle of that one for the monster block. What a player to get it on. Chinese captain stopped at last. Brilliant. Well, that's just fantastic. You aren't realising that ball was tight to the net and it was going to be tough for Ding to do anything except a one-handed short set. And so she got herself there, got into the air and hit the resulting ball. Really good play from China. So momentarily, the Dutch side were one point ahead, but six apiece. China on the serve, but the Netherlands on the attack. Good point. That's so much more like the Marit Jasper we know. She's been really aggressive at the start of this game, and she's continued it into this set. 88 kilometers per hour for that spike, so that's up there for Jasper. This is encouraging for the Dutch. If they can keep this pattern of play going, if they can maintain this level, they could cause China some problems in this set. Oh, you hear the announcer in the stadium. She's not doing well at getting support for the Dutch, but she's doing well at keeping them informed on super volleyball plays, a super spike indeed right between Two defenders nailing it on the ground. The, chi the Chinese now back with their serve. Seven apiece in this second set. And you can see how the game just then slips away again because the Chinese players are doing the same as the Dutch are trying to do. They're trying to maintain a very high level of play. And so every time their opponents drop down below that level, then they hemorrhage points. So the first technical timeout of the second set. Netherlands, they've got themselves in front in this second set, Simon, as you say, but then it's that maintaining of it, isn't it, when everything changes, when the rotations you talk about change. Good serve, good rhythm in attack, good side out. Only ready to move, then we change rhythm in service, so ready to move, especially in front. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! So the Italian Beltrami speaking in English to his Dutch team. Seems pretty upbeat, Simon. Said positive yeah, stuff. Yeah, he is. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's a good coach. He's a really good coach, and the team like him as well. That's so important. So they listen. One's caught then. Yeah, those rotations can be so important. The teams have to circulate around the court in a clockwise direction through positions one, two, three, four, five, and six. They will specialize though, they will switch after the serve happens and switch to the specialist area. So the middle blockers, even if they're in three or four or two in position in positions in the front court, they'll switch into the middle. Wing spikers and opposite spikers will go to their outside zones but the rotations are there to stop basically all the tall players being in the front court all the time, because that wouldn't be fun if Yu Ting was there every single point of the game, and to give everybody else a chance in the back court. So uh, it was invented essentially to stop goal hanging, if we can use a, a soccer terminology. Well, 
finish has been chased in vain. So China maintaining the lead in the second set by one goal. Nice shot. Marek Jasper's doing a good job. Ludacris is coming back into it as well. And if those two wing spikers can function against this Chinese block, especially when Ding is front court, that's the block to hit over. Ding blocks at three metres, which isn't bad. But they've got the height to go over. Brilliant again. Can't explain this to young players and new players to the sport quite a lot of old players as well unfortunately you can't explain this enough if you can't pass the service into your setter you can't play volleyball and China are doing that brilliantly at the moment getting everything to ding that's out that's unlucky because that was uh, a decent swing from Polder but maybe just a little too ambitious from Van Allen Especially when the wing players are playing so well, that was just an option to feed it wide again. So the advantage now too. Good leave. Don't Very think China will challenge this. Yeah. Ding as well, the danger serve at the moment for the Dutch. Dangerous Ding downed Dutch in set, <laughs> set one. There you go. <laughs> Don't get many of those to the pound. Oh, nice. Good. And the Netherlands have repaired the damage. They're back in this set. And that's uh, the problem. If you don't get the ball to your setter, you can't run plays in offence. Good serve from Ludacris, who didn't serve very well in set one. And that one's just gone long as well. Dutch might have a look at that. No, no challenge forthcoming. Twelve eleven, lots of support. Zooting on the serve. Oh gosh. Wow. If you, if you hit these balls right, then they will move in the air. And sometimes they move left to right, right to left. Sometimes they do what this serve did. Just drops like a stone. Horrible to try and pass. Really tough. Super serve from Zing for the ace. This time the serve she has stays in play, though. Good swing. Uh, Marit Jasper, for me, has been the standout player at the moment for this Dutch team. Been really solid, good pass, good offence. The highest scorer so far in the Dutch team. Seven points, seven off attack for Jasper. It's the Dutch serve. Oh, yes. Well, we've heard almost nothing from Lin Lee, the libero, at the moment in this game. And that's a really uncharacteristic piece of misjudgment from her. But a decent serve between her and Liu, so there was a bit of confusion. And a net ace, and all the serves that were going in the net in the last set are going over now. Two aces from Polder. She's on a hat-trick. Well, and Lang Ping calls a timeout with that little run of play going in the Netherlands' favour. A little bit of luck from the Dutch, but a lot of it created in those last few plays. He's not happy. Lang Ping, and neither is Xu Ting. So the team getting uh, a mini telling off in that last timeout. Oh, the first set was a 25 16 point victory for the Chinese. And they're making hard work of this second one. The Dutch have definitely picked up their game with the way they're playing. Polled it on two aces so far. Set up. Oh, well kept in by the Dutch defence. The Chinese, though, will have another shot at this with the setup and a super spike. That is insane timing from the back line. Now, some concern from the Chinese players there that 
Zhu Ting has just landed a little awkwardly. Just had to hang around a bit on this uh, very quick backcourt offence. Just lands, collapses, and just holding her ankle a bit. Dutch doing everything right. But remember, we've got the business end of this set to come after the second technical timeout. That's when they have to be level with China. It's been a while since we've had a service error from the Dutch. Not really the, the time to be doing it from Myers. So 15 apiece. The crowd enjoying MC Hammer in the background. And also probably enjoying this second set here. 15 all after that first set win for China. A good block. Somebody didn't even know where the ball went then, Simon. So no technical timeout arrives. The, uh, you mentioned the crowd enjoying this. I got to speak to some Chinese sports fans last year just in general and they were saying that with a sport like table tennis where they have been completely dominant now for such a long time they're actually getting a little bored with seeing China constantly winning so something like volleyball where they know they can win and they can win the biggest things they like to see some competition they like to see a close match and they're going to get that although Zhu Ting trying her level best to make sure it isn't too close. Some of these hits in the first set and a half have been just stunning. Off pace, full power, a couple of aces as well. She is the real deal. And if you're going to put together one of the big squads, then I think Zhu Ting would feature in a world best, certainly. And, and the, I think the... The issue there is that, there yeah, you go, some fans for Zhu Ting in the crowd. I think the issue there is she plays in that wing spiker position on the left side of court. So with Gonu in our world best team could play on the right side in the opposite spiker position. That's looking like a, quite a good squad, isn't it? We might have to fill a few more players in there. Maybe those two don't need anybody else on court. Oh, good pick up by Knip. The Dutch in blue is going to be set up here. Oh, a lovely tip over. And the Chinese draw it level in this second set. For our new viewers around the world in volleyball, Simon Golding. It's a simple question, but why is Zhu Ting so good? And answer that just after this point. She might be able to give us a demonstration of why right now good play from the dutch but no finished what you want from your players you know if a player is tall that's great but if a player is tall and mobile that's fantastic if a player is tall mobile and has great ball control that's the real deal and Zhu Ting has all of that when you then factor in her mentality on court the fact she can lead a team it's priceless Oh, my goodness. Well, Yuan doing a bit of a Cuba there. The Cuban players, when they know it's going to be a good spike, they will scream when they hit it. And she was yelling. Zero tempo, reverse C-quick attack. Don't see many of those in the women's game. Brilliant shot. Okay, fair enough. Don't block the line. Block cross court. Try and get some hands on it. They've snuck a two point lead in this second set, the Chinese. After Netherlands were fighting, battling on China's serve. Oh, blocked by China. And they're 
creeping towards that 20 mark and ever nearer to the 25 points needed to win a set. The hand signals that Simon was talking about earlier, giving direction to the rest of the team where they need to go. A big ooh from the crowd. Oh, another good block by the Chinese at the net. Oh, <laughs> Knit picked it up wonderfully well from Zhu Ting. Still Mega. in play. And a mega oh. rally developing. Look at this. It's coming back, is it? Oh. No! Oh, Not and just twice. when they needed communication, they got it wrong. Split second too late for Knip. The Libero to save that rally. Trying to get the first piece of defence in. <laughs> That's a stunning pick-up from Myers. What a reaction from Van Arlen. And then between Myers and Knip, they just managed to miscommunicate and no one went for the ball. Not a big jump serve from Liu. Clever, off pace, well read by Knip. And well finished by uh, one of the smallest wing spikers on the VNL. That's the new player on court, Hester Jasper. And that was a pretty impressive kill. So the Netherlands, working that area in the court well. Trying to hang into this, three points down now. Huge hit, super spike from shooting. Shoulders have dropped, I'm afraid. They've played so well up to that technical timeout. But this is the business end. This is where the good teams pull away. Well, the Dutch could see where the ball was going. They knew the only real option was to go to Liu on the back line. So they were lined up on it, but just not enough discipline in the block. Same day you play where you want. Yeah. Only one thing, we are moving good, we are good in blood, especially against two things, this is amazing. We eat the moment best on this ball, they don't spike the time, they go long, they go, they, they go deep, and we are not that, that over. So don't go high, get over there. So, let's go! We drop into these timeouts, we expect the world's best coaches to be talking technical. Sometimes it's the basics, that's school volleyball there. Get your hands over the net, don't wave them in the air and be a target. But he's quite right, they're setting up a decent obstacle against uh, Zhu Ting. Nice, controlled, disciplined block, forcing her to hit round it, giving the defenders a chance. Wan with the serve. Did very well indeed. To so keep that one in, it's going to be set up. <laughs> Poor Hester Jasper, 1m75 tall, so shortest wing spiker on the court. Chases all the way back. To the net to try and block and just gets wiped off. But gets her own back. That's a great swing. Got an impressive uh, contact point on the spike, way above three meters. And she's hit this one at 85 kilometers per hour. And when you do that over that short distance, that's not possible for the defenders to get there. Good dig from Knip. Easy for Lin Lee. China still in it. Zhu Ting again. All over. Goes off polders and out. Perfectly legitimate attack. You don't always have to hit the court to win the point. You can work it off the block as well, or off the defender. So, set point for China. On their serve. To give them a two set to love advantage. Van Allen sets up. Good, good shot. She's doing some good work. Yeah, this is a lovely feed to Polder, who's gone quick about two metres away from her setter, and as a middle player, you want to jump and see that ball arrive in front of you. 
and then you can swing as hard as you can. So one set point saved by the Dutch. Free ball. Good defence from Dink. Knip. Tip. Set up and executed. The set one by China with some patient, impressive play. Take the second set, 25-19. Ju Ting looks in fabulous shape. I think this is the, uh, the best Nick we've seen her in for a while. She's been carrying some injuries since the Olympic Games in 2016. But right here, right now, she looks like one of the best players in the world. She's leading her team nice and easy so far to a two set to nil advantage for the Chinese. We had some good play in set one and we had some equally impressive play in set two. China leading the way, two sets to nil. Too good from China when it mattered once again. So those stats look pretty even, but China in the back third just started to exert the pressure and kept that scoreboard ticking over. So that's why they had more attacks because they were very good on side out and consequently just enough pressure to pull away from the Netherlands to win that one 25 19, quite comfortable in the end for China. So Zhu Ting, as Simon said, looking fit, looking poised and delivering at the moment for her team. Obviously tomorrow we're licking our lips already, myself and Simon, at the China-Italy battle that is to come on the last day of Pool 9 in Week 3 of this VNL season. But the Dutch, as Alessandros Beltrami was saying to his team, you're doing some good stuff, some good stuff at the net, you're blocking well. The Zhu Ting, amazing is the word he used. Yeah, and that's so important for coaches to be realistic. You know, you can tell your players off, but if the players are playing well and they know they're playing well, then that's pointless. And at that, that time in the game, the Dutch could have still won that set. So I thought that was really good coaching. So ball in hand, 24-year-old Zhu Ting. The wing, wing spiker poised to start this third set. Will it be the final set of this match here? China are hoping so. Picked up by Lidabero. Set upon the net and blocked by the Dutch team. Well, there has been a bit of a tinker with the rotation from uh, the Chinese coach, Lang Ping. And she's brought in the backup setter, Yao Di, 26 years of age from the Tianjin province. So she replaces Ding Jia. Another good kill from Marek Jasper. Both the Jaspers having a good game today. But that uh, replacement on in the playmaker position for uh, China. Also a replacement as well in the libero, Wang Ji, Meng Ji is on, number 18. Superb. And that's the problem for the Dutch. It's not really good news. We're going to introduce another two world-class players to the game. The only 
the only possible bonus is those players are cold. They're not quite in the rhythm that the other players are in. Can they make the adjustment? It's a chance for the Netherlands. It's a chance. So from Super Spike to serve then for China. Set up. Great swing. Good kill from Myers. Really accurate hit from her. Found a way past the block off a good set from Van Allen. And chose to hit it as well at the middle blocker that had just served. So that's good decision making. Polder on the serve again. The blue of the Netherlands. Another player on court for China. Li Ying Ying just about to hit. <laughs> And the big left-hander was one of the best scorers on the VNL last year. So once again, it's just more strength being brought into play. Another super spike. Oh, she hit that hard. <laughs> Nicely turned by Demi Korova. This player on court for the Dutch, just 18 years of age. And again, a nice slide around the back of the setter from the middle player. So once again, the Netherlands starting strong in a set. Winning back the serve after that point. That is a beautiful set. What a great play. Now, considering that Yao has been on the bench for a long time, and I know these players practice for hours, but that's a really tough ball to deal with, and she's put it on a plate for Li Ying Ying. Quick discussion between attackers and setter, what patterns they can run if they get the ball into transition. They do, but no setter available on that one. Free ball the Dutch. China go again. Good pick up. Well, Jutin comes up with the point, and the Dutch are a little unlucky there because uh, Knip's having a blinder of a game at Libero. Although that one may have touched the floor, so <laughs> China might have challenged anyway. I think that came off the floor and the fingertips. Ying Ying Li on the serve. Oh, Hester Jasper in off the wing. Really good athlete, tremendous jump. But at 1m75, you're always going to be up against it at the net. Lee's a good player, the left-hander. Hasn't had a lot of court time over the last season. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Overpass, dispatched, and that's what it should be look like bounce it as high off the floor as you can so china on the serve two points ahead in this third and potentially final set oh, she puts it in to the netting as the netherlands to pull one back Middle blocker court of our serves, the 18 year old. Nicely done. I, I love the way that Yuan, at high pace, is making decisions about what shot she can hit. If the ball is absolutely there, she thumps it. If it isn't, she just goes accuracy, she goes off pace. That's really sensible hitting. So, still the two point cushion. Yuan now serving. Set up again by Van Allen. That's a shame. Dutch doing the right things here. They're trying to target the middle player after they've served for a cheap point. But unfortunately, stepping on the three-metre line. Myers. It's good here. And in the blink of an eye, we're at the first technical timeout of set three, eight, playing five.
We've had two entertaining games today. We've had two games where the teams have played high-class volleyball. Seen some quite spectacular stuff. What we haven't seen, though, is any real competition. Japan pushed Italy at times during the game, but Italy were just too good. And the Dutch in set two for the first two-thirds push. There's uh, the assistant coach, Anjazi. Good player in his own right as well. There's a manager down there as well who also acts as an assistant coach, uh, Lei Yawen, 1996 Olympic gold medalist for China. It's, it's basically gold medalists everywhere for the uh, women in Chinese volleyball. We had a lot of that 1996 team here yesterday watching the game and cheering the new team on. Good pass under pressure, but no. No uh, real blocking formation from China there. Great work from Myers. Just managed to shove it down the front of the blockers. Important point that one for the Netherlands to go into this mid phase of set three. Oh, good try. You can run out to the barriers, you can play the ball and dive over them, you can jump over them and play the ball, but what you cannot do is step on them. You can't get an unfair advantage from those hoardings. Silence in the Hong Kong Coliseum. China served with a three-point advantage. Oh, wonderfully kept in. Wonderful pick up by the Chinese. Phenomenal. Point goes their way. New libero on court. There she is, Wang Menchi. 172 tall. So her teammates towering over her, but they know just what they've that she's done for them there. Given them the opportunity to kill the ball and Zhu Ting obliges. Yao of China. Goes high. Van Allen sets again. What a reach from Zhu Ting. That's incredible. She's jumping out of the gym at the moment. We always talk about players being head and shoulders over the net, but she's reached so far over and uh, Alessandro Beltrami so caught up in the game, he wasn't quite sure if he had another timeout available there. Good to ask, always good to ask, because you can look a bit of an idiot if you ask for a timeout and you don't have one available. You'll be booked. And play simple, yeah, play simple. We need to create an easy attack and to get out of this situation, we get back in rhythm. Go! Let's go! Play simple. Easier said than done against China, right? It is, it is, but, but he's just trying to keep the focus on the things that are working. Dutch not out of this set yet. They're five points down, but they've proved that they can go on a run with serve and block. So the timeout done. A set of serves for China. Out. Myers misses. No challenge from the Dutch. They cannot afford a poor run here. They've got to stop the Chinese scoring. Got to side this ball out. Tough front line, though. Big, tall blockers in the front court for China. That's better. Bit of hurry-up offence from the Dutch. And if you've got a tall blocker to play against, make them run fast to the outside. They don't like that. And uh, yeah, Yuan getting nowhere near. Good pass. What a good pass. Beautifully done. Juting on a less favoured right side of court with the kill. Ting on the serve. 17 points so far in this game. 
One of those times when the blocker touching the ball wasn't an advantage. Usually if a blocker touches an attacking ball, then it slows it up for the defenders. But that just slowed the tip up too much. And Wang Minji just couldn't get there. Now, Polder's had two aces. She won't be getting one with that, I'm afraid. Yeah, well played, you're off. But that's the natural flow of the game because the middle player exits the court once her service run is over for the libero to come on. The defensive specialist, Knip, comes back into the court. That's brilliant. Oh, it's a wonderful set, but gone so balanced in the air. She's unloaded on that one down the line. Malik Jasper, impressed, but not impressed, if you know what I mean. Good pass from the Dutch captain. And a very nice, very similar hit from Myers. Anything you can do, we can do just as well. The leading scorer so far for the Netherlands. 12 points now, all 12 points from attack for Myers, and they have the serve. Looking to keep in this one, six points down. Lovely pass from Wang, and another one of those super quick offences from Yuan. I think she just leave her, left her spiking arm hanging there, and why not? That was a great shot. The equivalent of a slam dunk in volleyball. and potentially the last technical timeout of this game if it keeps going in the direction that China want it. 16 points to nine. And a few words there between one legend on the left, one in the making on the right. Oh, nice smile there. Yes, not, often, not often seen from Zhu Ting, I like that. <laughs> yeah, no wonder she's smiling. Well, that was the spike early on when she took a bit of time to get up. So she might have tweaked her ankle, but since then she's been back to uh, the number one setting for Zhu Ting. Just uh, fire it up to demolition job, please. And she's doing just that. Great work. And, uh, her coach, Lang Ping, not unknown for a, a practical joke or two. She's, she's a good character. <laughs> Fans getting down with it. But a lot of... Uh, Big stars from television and film come and watch the volleyball games in China. And a nice serve follows on. And I don't think there's much potentially about the last technical time, I think. You're probably in agreement with me, Catherine. We're heading towards the finish of this game and there's not much the Dutch can do about it. Just exploiting Yao's weaker block. Somebody needs to go on a, a service run here for the Dutch. Centre shot, Van Allen working well in that set of position. Wins them the serve, the Dutch seven points down in this third set. Nice save, Buckenip. Back up. Tip over is going to be set up nicely. Oh, another good pick up by the Dutch. That was genius from Knip. Nicely controlled defence, then another backup piece of defensive play on the other side of the court, which forced Knip to come in and set because it was Van Allen that made the play. And she's just bumped a reverse set on the net for the hit. So life in the Netherlands yet. They serve. No, mix up for China. Now, yeah, great shot from Hesti Uspert. She's turned it off the block. If China disagree that that touched, then they'll have to challenge it. But I think they've accepted the play. Yeah, a couple of the players looked across straight away, the Dutch players, just to see if anything was going to happen with that point. Unchallenged, 12 playing, 17 still. The serve then for the Dutch side. Oh, this one bounces wide. But uh, Marit and Hester Jasper through the wing. 
Doing a really good job for the Netherlands at the moment. But a six point lead for China is just too much. Liu with the serve, the left hander. Miss hit. Face said it all then. We've got that comfortable cushion. Superb. Yuan has been absolutely brilliant today. She really has. She scored a shed load of points yesterday. 14 points for a middle blocker. And she's already racked up 11 in this one. change at middle blocker if they're allowed to make it there we go <laughs> and it is Yuan that comes off and an absolute bundle of energy coming on number five Hugh made her debut on the VNL last year and she loves to play volleyball you you will not believe this is a middle blocker because she's everywhere and she'll be giving it the full treatment in defense Hugh in the number five shirt there she goes great pass Great pick up again from Knip and heads to Jasper. Just trying to do too much with the ball. So China think it's out, no touch off the block. And the officials had a good long look at that. And actually, it's the end line judge that said this was either touch off the block or in. So China going to challenge. Lang Ping straight in there. Going to use every possible moment to talk to the players that she can get. No, the only thing that was going to hit was the lines judge. Good try from Esti Jasper. But out. Look at the direction that Zhu Ting gives every single second. Concentrate, pointing to her head. I love you. She was smiling coming on. And she's going to probably smile when she serves this one as well. China with a seven point advantage in this final set, just five points away from wrapping this one up. Great swing from Jasper. Good defence, though, from Gong. Oh! And down it goes from Zhu Ting. It's relentless at the moment from China. And you know what? You're absolutely right. We're going to see a, a feast of volleyball Italy-China tomorrow. Yeah, the final match in Pool 9 in Week 3 here at the Hong Kong Coliseum. That awaits China tomorrow at the moment they've got to put this match to bed now that is the first wayward hit from Zhu Ting that we've seen that's how disciplined she is managed to score 18 points 16 of those on attack up until that point she's given one back to the Dutch that's sporting so the Dutch serve And I'm afraid the problems that haunted them in set one have been all too evident here in set three. Too many service errors. Set up by Van Allen again. But goes wide. Let's take China up to 23. A couple of points away, the familiar buzzer goes. Timeout being called. I'm sure some of you watching that last point will have got a really good look at Hester Jasper's leap. So she stands 175, which is short for a wing spiker. She touches 311 on her spike move. That's a monster jump. Middle block, so you can use this. You have a lot of blind space, so go inside, inside, inside. If the defense be patient, we play again. Go, go, go. Let's go. Last throw of the dice, last chance saloon for the Netherlands in this game against China. I can't see a way back, but as a coach, you have to keep saying to your players that there is a way back. As you say, Simon, work on what you can. Junction late is in, so that'll sort of be.
be a uh, replacement for Gong in the opposite position. Captained uh, the Chinese team in Montreux in their trip around Europe earlier this summer, did Jung? Yao serves, just two points needed by the Chinese to wrap this one up, but it goes the Netherlands way. Some players have had a good game, though. Talk about Myers, talk about the setting of Van Allen. Yeah, they've, they've played well enough. Myers listening to her coach. The coach said there's space down the line, so she used it. Back to Hester Jasper. Oh, superb from Knip. That is fantastic from the Dutch. That was an amazing combination play that China ran. They had an absolute free net. I'm not going to say Knip knew that she played that, but she put her body on the line for the team. Ridiculous dig. A deserved point for the Dutch team. They have to go again. Set up, little tip over by Ting. Van Allen puts it high. Oh. oh, wow, well, Jung given an absolute hospital ball there by Yao. She had no right to put that away. And she's manufactured a point for China. And created a match point for China. As you say to Simon earlier, they all count. So, Zhu Ting, match point for China. Can she do it in one go? Nope, they're going to have to work for the point. How many times have we seen that? That's a mirrored point. Little tip over the top for a Marek Jasper. It's like we're stealing it, you know? Yeah. Even Knip just walked off and went, ooh. <laughs> By their fingernails. Not sure they'll be in it for much longer, though. Polder serves. Oh, a little tip over by the Chinese, but kept under control. Yeah, well played. Now, considering the Dutch don't have a libero on court at the moment, because it's a middle player that's serving, so Polder serves, comes on to play defence. So it's not as positive for the Dutch in defensive terms, but maybe that'll just focus the minds to score a few points here. Polder on the serve, still match point for China. Good blocking. Not seen enough of that today from this Dutch team and the new player on court in that opposite spiker position Junction Lake is shut down monster block from the Dutch just the right time so China gonna have to go in for match point four here on the Dutch serve goes high gets set it's blocked at the net by the Netherlands set up again and wide from Myers it's over. Valiant effort towards the back end of that set, but the Dutch just didn't have enough in the tank, and China looked superb today. They did indeed. Handshakes all round from the coaching staff and between the players, of course. As I mentioned at the top of our broadcast today, China looking for normal service to continue and be resumed, and that's their sixth win in a row and another Three set to love victory for the Chinese. Myers put it wide, which gives them the 25 19 third set victory. Exactly the same score as the second set. And China now can go and refresh before the big match tomorrow against Italy. The Netherlands, of course, play their final pool nine match against Japan. That should be an interesting battle, Japan and the Netherlands, as well as us looking forward, Simon to the China-Italy clash. Yeah, plenty to look forward to on day three, but as you say, the, the real game to focus on, China v Italy. Italy won't let China play like they've done today. That's going to be a tough battle. Well, they've only won this World Grand Prix, as it used to be called, once. They were undefeated in 2003, the Chinese team, and they are well on course to go into their own backyard in the first week of July and potentially win the title some 16 years later. Some super play from both the Netherlands and the Chinese teams today. They'll regroup, they'll reassess, and they'll come back to the Hong Kong Coliseum tomorrow. Let's have a quick look back of some of the amazing highlights from this match.
So some super highlights of China's win against the Netherlands. The crowd enjoyed it. Myself and Simon Golding enjoyed it. So tomorrow then, Japan versus the Netherlands, China versus Italy. It was three set to nothing wins today for both Italy and China. Before we conclude this pool nine group in week number three of the VNL. So let's have a look at the standings in the table. Remember, top six go through to the finals, but China get that pass as host nation. So five teams will be taken because China flying high. Six out of eight wins now. Turkey and Italy tomorrow. Second take on third. Italy take on China. Mouth-watering world-class volleyball in prospect at that one. The Netherlands, well, still now with just those two wins. One in week one, one in week two for the Dutch. Remain in 12th position. So it was a wonderful win once again for China against the Netherlands. They continue on a super roll. Thanks for being part of the game. Another clear win for the Chinese team tonight. Very consistent performance, good speed. Uh, you did not seem to have any problems with the Dutch team. Was it a perfect game? Uh, 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 嗯，然后对手的发球也是给我们一个很强的冲击吧，最后我们还是呃顶住了这个遗传的压力吧。嗯。Uh, it was a really smooth game overall. Um, the serve from the Netherlands team uh, are actually quite strong. Uh, and uh, for us, uh, we still have to work on a first pass. Uh, and uh, there, there are some uh, places that we need to improve. Uh, everybody's waiting for tomorrow's game against Italy. Full house here in Hong Kong, a huge game. Who is, who is going to be the favorite? So, today, there are many fans in Hong Kong who are very excited for the Italy game. Do you think there are any players in the Italy game? Do you think there are the biggest challenges? 意大利整体的球员都很全面吧，然后攻防之间都特别的优秀。然后明天，呃，如果是他们的艾格努上的话，我们希望能够对他有更针对的拦防吧。So uh, Italy team is a really strong team overall. Uh, they have really good uh, defense and also uh, they have really strong spikes as well. Um, so if the uh, spiker uh, performs well, uh, they would have to step up the game for sure. What can we expect from the from the Chinese team and how do they prepare? So, super simple, we'll just uh, try our best in the game. Okay, thank you very much. Kiss you. <laughs>